Today we are celebrating the achievements of you, our graduates. We are all very proud of you and you should be very proud of yourselves. Not simply because of the hard work and dedication that have got to you to this point, but also because you are graduating in a very unexpected way. You are at the cusp of great change in your life, while the world is also changing dramatically around you. The next stage of your lives is beginning in exceptional and extraordinary circumstances, and this is certainly not the send-off you had in mind, nor is it the celebration we would have intended to offer you today. The last few months must not overshadow your achievements. As Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Our connection and support will continue long after you close this chapter and the friends you have made, the knowledge you've worked so hard to gain and the memories you hold dear will be with you for the rest of your lives, whatever comes next. This is not goodbye. You are now a member of a new community as an alumnus of our university and we hope you will stay in touch. In the same way that we have not been entirely limited by the restrictions of lockdown, there are no limits to your potential. You will face more challenges and obstacles on your journey, but I hope that your time at Southampton has prepared you to withstand, overcome and solve them as you go. You are graduating from one of the very best universities in the world, ranked in the top 100, just recently climbing from 97 to 90 in the QS World University League table. I am continually amazed by what our student community can accomplish in the short years you are with us, and you are no exception. You don't need me to tell you that there's a lot of bad news around these days, and it might be a little hard to be optimistic about your future right now. I think the world has hit its tipping point, and it's ready to replace the old models of how we were living with a new model. After this pandemic, the world will not be the same. And I hope we've learned a few things during this time. Such as humans are capable of such kindness, it's sewn into our DNA. And maybe we haven't used it for a while because we were rusty, or maybe some of us just didn't have time, we were too busy. But during the virus, we really witnessed kindness, watching the actions of the NHS and those people on the front line. And we showed our appreciation by banging pots and pans and being eternally grateful. You are the architects of the brave new world, and I know you're going to build something spectacular. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I can't wait to see what you do next. The class of 2020, you've made it. You've got across the finishing line. Many, many congratulations. The best piece of career advice I was ever given was this. If you want to make God laugh, tell him you've got a plan. In other words, be flexible. Don't say in three years time, I've got to be here. In five years time, I've got to be there. The place is uncertain and you're going to have to adapt to whatever comes your way. But in this world of huge uncertainty and who knows how much life is going to change, whether there's going to be a vaccine by the end of the year and we'll all carry on as if nothing has happened, or whether there's going to be fundamental structural change. You're going to come out of Southampton with your degree certificate and that is going to be your passport to a future career. Also in this period of uncertainty, it's worth saying something about the community that is Southampton University, the Alumni Association, and the fact that there are thousands of people like me who've graduated from the university who are a network who can offer support along the way. I used to end graduation ceremonies by reading Oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Zeus. It's how the world is your oyster. I've got brains in my head, I've got feet in my shoes, I can go any place I choose. Doesn't seem quite appropriate right now. The world seems shut, but it's a temporary closure. So let me end instead by saying congratulations on what you've achieved so far and the very best of luck for all that I know you're going to achieve. Hello, my name is Rachel Mills and I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Environmental and Life Sciences. Today is a day of celebration and today I want to say congratulations to everybody who's graduating from the class of 2020. 
None of this would have been possible without your hard work, with all the effort you've put in, but particularly this year, this extraordinary year where we're doing this from home, we're doing this on video, and we're doing this remotely. You've managed to transform the way you work, the way you learn, and the way you actually live. Well done to everybody for doing, getting through this and graduating with a degree from the University of Southampton. A degree is not about the specialist discipline that you're now an expert in. It is also about the broader experience of being a student. You'll have met friends who are friends for life. Make sure you maintain those friendships. You'll have picked up new interests that will be interests that will spark different things throughout your life. You'll travel the world. You'll take that learning with you. And your degree from the University of Southampton will be an asset everywhere you go. I want to thank the staff that have worked extraordinarily hard this year. They've worked in different ways. And again, they've been working from home. They've been in the laboratories. They've been maintaining the, the clinical skills laboratories. They've done the most amazing job to get us through this year. None of this would have been possible without the staff that support you, the academic staff, the technical staff, the library staff, all of the professional services staff that make this university work. Thank you. And as you go forward into your career, make sure you remember us, keep in touch with us. We love to hear what you're doing. We love to hear about the successes, the different pathways you take, the learning you have along the way. Please keep in touch and tell us what you're up to. Please come back and visit at any time. And finally, I just want to say good luck. Good luck to all of you as you go forward. Your lives will be fantastic and that degree from Southampton will take you to the most amazing places. Good afternoon. My name is Dr Julian Pearce and I'm Head of Department of Allied Health Professions in the School of Health Sciences. President and Vice-Chancellor, I present to you the candidates from the Faculty of Environmental and Life Sciences and I ask that you admit them to their awards. I now present the graduates from the School of Health Sciences for the award of Bachelor of Science. Gemma Elizabeth Big, Charlotte Hussey, Jolie Marie Beatty, Benjamin Lo Yi Kai. I now present the graduates from the School of Health Sciences for the award of Master of Science. Matthew Chong Melissa Rose Cleese Jessica Charlotte Turton Beverly Nicole White I now present the graduates from the School of Health Sciences for the award of Bachelor of Nursing Sitsi Botang, Maureen Ekpeti, Emily Catherine Gom, Priya Limbo. I now present the graduates from the School of Health Sciences for the award of Bachelor of Science. Michelle Doe. Elaine Locke Talani Edward Olafiso Michelle McKinney's Thomas Sheridan Kate Louise Riley I now present the graduates from the School of Health Sciences for the award of Postgraduate Diploma Lisha Neens Chiramal Sarah Cunningham Dominando De Castro James Christian Oloki Mabel Olding Abigail Warren, Kadidra Adrid Arman McLeod, Stevie Ray Campbell, 
Francisco Gadella. Laura Williams. Hannah Yearling Ward. I now present to the graduates from the School of Health Sciences for the award of Master of Science. Vania Philippa Antal Collins. Julie Ann Ingall. Kathy Esther Dobbin. Claire Louise Miller. Tracy Jane Bailey. Atia Elizabeth Deborah Morris. Katie Reed. Karen Ann Wright. Sunisha Jane. Zihang Wu. Dominique Amy Black. Amy Clark. Loy Abdul Feta Akomin. I now present the graduates from the School of Health Sciences for the award of Doctor of Clinical Practice. Natasha Duke. I now present the graduates from the School of Health Sciences for the award of Doctor of Philosophy. Saad Abdullah Zahir Al Bimani. Anna Carolina Vieira Gonsalves. Panagiotis Sagatos. Hello, my name is Professor Matthew Garner and I am Head of Psychology in the Faculty of Environmental and Life Sciences at the University of Southampton. President and Vice-Chancellor, I now present the graduands from the School of Psychology for the award of Bachelor of Science. Pornapat Frey Amfando. Sarah Lily Anderson. Christine Simone Nana Ama Visa Asiebor. Chloe May Baldwin. Rebecca Bedl. Elena Beglain. Putiri Nadhira Binti Omar. Sarah Joanna Bristow. Emily Laura Chexfield. Bethany Coleshill. Macy Lily Ann Collier. Sarah Davin. Katie Elizabeth Easton. Chloe Gallagher. Eloise Garan. Emily Faith Gibb. Jake Grant James. Daniel Alfie Griffiths. Harriet Harding. Bethany Hensley. Elizabeth Humphrey. Alicia Jalil. Tanya Jones. Ravinda Kaur. Eloise Georgia Kitchener. Hannah Charlotte Lundy. Louise Francis Marsh. Louise Amy Marianne. Amelia Mason. Lucy Maynard. 
Francesca McGovern. Gabriella Rachel Mears. Gemma Mila de la Fuente. Kamima Nadero. Cynthia Nkani. Juliet Nunn. Sheena O'Flaherty. Megan Power. Liam Prince. Oliver Reed. Lara Sofia Alves Rosa. Catherine Ann Rutherford. Selena Saini. Laura Smith. Rebecca Helen Taylor. Paige Elizabeth Walsh. Emily Catherine Wheeler. Lana Espina Mamoud. Ella Victoria Stilwell. President and Vice Chancellor, I now present the graduands from the School of Psychology for the award of Doctor of Philosophy. Rhys Bush Evans. Ella Louisa Beth Chadwick. Gemma Louise Hansen. Colleen Hindrika Wilhelmina Pass. My name is Dr Nicola Inglist and I am the Director of Postgraduate Top Programmes and the Programme Leader for MSc Diabetes Best Practice in the Faculty of Medicine. President and Vice-Chancellor, I present to you the candidates from the Faculty of Medicine and I ask that you admit them to their awards. I now present the graduates from the School of Clinical and Experimental Sciences for the award of Master of Science. Alia Boardman. Isabel L. Shanawani. I now present the graduates from the School of Human Development and Health for the award of Master of Science. Karen Ann Gangadine. Carolyn Low Power. Jazz Louisa Ruttel. Anam Sardar. Julie Claire Saunders. Elizabeth Rolf. Natalie Garwin. I now present the graduand from the School of Human Development and Health for the award of Master of Research, Jeong Zaib. I now present to you the graduands from the School of Cancer Sciences for the award of Doctor of Philosophy, Sarah Catherine Wilmore, Anna DeSalvo, I now present the graduates from the School of Clinical and Experimental Sciences for the award of Doctor of Philosophy. Lady Yamili Bastidas Legarda. Rebecca Emma Holding. Abby Charlotte Keeble. Diego Armando Ojeda Pedrasa. I now present the graduates from the School of Human Development and Health for the award of Doctor of Philosophy. Benedict Mark Wiles. Brogan Ashley. Vivian Maritza Castro Herrera. Ulu Wikemi 
Lokulu Sadeep, Roxana Sharon Ramnarin Sanchez. I now present the graduates from the School of Primary Care, Population Sciences and Medical Education for the award of Doctor of Philosophy. Nida Nayaudin. I now present the graduate from the School of Clinical and Experimental Sciences for the award of Doctor of Medicine, Kordu Basim Ayab Sahid. I now present to you the graduates from the School of Human Development and Health for the award of Doctor of Medicine. Bartosz Marcin Olikowski Anna Christina Selby I now present the graduates from the School of Primary Care, Population Sciences and Medical Education for the award of Doctor of Medicine Catherine Mary Price Everything we do as a union is for our members and it's thanks to you that this year we were voted in the top 10 for our clubs and societies and the top 20 union overall. We couldn't do what we do if it wasn't for our thousands of elected student volunteers and representatives. So a huge thank you to everyone who's volunteered their time to make this student experience better. On behalf of the students union I want to say a huge congratulations to each one of you. When we first started back in September, I don't think any one of us could possibly have predicted the events that would unfold and that we'd be finishing the year remotely in the middle of a global pandemic. On behalf of all of the staff and volunteers at the Students' Union, I want to say a massive congratulations to all of you for your achievements. Finishing your degree in any normal year whilst balancing job commitments, society activities and volunteering is always amazing, but doing so this year under these circumstances is nothing short of phenomenal. Like me, you might be feeling a bit overwhelmed at the prospect of graduating in the current climate. But once you've graduated, you become part of the University of Southampton's global alumni community, which includes over 245,000 people from over 185 countries. This means that you will continue to receive support and benefits from the university. These include things such as the e-mentoring scheme, so you can be partnered up with more established alumni that can help you in your journey, whatever you're doing next. You'll also continue to receive support from the Careers and Employability Service who can help you with jobs and other opportunities once you've graduated. Whatever you're going on to do next, I wish you all the very best of luck. And finally, I would like to formally admit you to your award in absentia. This means that you are now formally a graduate, but we hope to see you at a graduation at ceremony at a date in the future when we can meet again safely in person. My heartfelt congratulations again. I wish you every success. Well done.